Yeah. So, so Neil, if you had to right now decide that free will does exist or doesn't exist, what would you prefer? I'm, my thinking over the recent years is leaning towards the absence of free will for practically everything we think and do in our lives. Things that we have done as people in our species at one time was you are totally to blame for that or just something you did or something you, we've learned, no, this person is more susceptible than you are to addiction. Right. There's a biochemistry there. This person cannot just be made the life of the party because they're on the autism spectrum. They don't control that in the way you might think they should mm. just because you're the life of the party. As you add up all of these things, let's go back to epilepsy where before that was even a word, you were occupied by the devil. But today, no one is saying, did you have the free will to not have an epileptic seizure? Of course not. Do you have the free will to not be depressed? The person who's ready to jump off the bridge, in that instant, do they have the free will to not jump off the bridge? I don't think so. Hmm. And the more I add up and explore the human condition, I'm forced to conclude is that we are all products of an absence of free will. And as a result, society needs more compassion for people who do not otherwise fit in. Mm -hmm.